Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tam Cram. We're back at it again with another episode of RimWorld. So we just had our first harvest and we were able to pull out about 289 simple meals or 289 rice, which then we converted to simple meals. So now we have 28 simple meals. That's going to last us for quite some time. Uh, I think this is the first time that, no, no, the last colony, uh, we did get to see the greenhouse in action. We got to see it actually work. Uh, without getting blown up first or getting raided first um so yeah we're uh we're currently building some sandstone blocks uh my goal this episode is to get trenches researched and i want to build some defenses around the area so uh as soon as tam gets finished uh doing that i'm gonna actually take him off of crafting plant cutting uh actually we'll keep them on plant cutting we'll keep them on grow and we'll take off constructing and cook. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna build those trenches. I wanna build them out over here and around, uh, just so that the enemies have you know room to move and we have time to get to our defenses before, uh, before they get there. I may do two layers of trenches depending on how much it costs to build said trenches, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so yeah, Tam's almost done researching that. Uh, he's got 50 points left for researching, and yeah, I will uh, we'll come back as soon as he is done with that. Okay, so it looks like he is finished uh, researching those trenches. We're gonna go back to the research screen, and I am going to now have him research trenches of early World War II. Uh, let's see here. In security, I'm assuming? No, it's not in security. How about miscellaneous? No? Trenches! Right there. Okay, we've got a fire. Okay. Damn, time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Put that fire out. Put those fires out. There you go. supposed to eat and then go to bed. Bad for your tum tum, Tam. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. And fat. That's what happens. You get sick, you get fat. Yeah, repair those. Good job. I'm proud of you. And we're gonna go back to researching. We're gonna research these trenches while he's doing that. I'm gonna set up the blueprints for these trenches here. So we've got trench sandbags. We've got trench dirt. Um, can we build this on sand? We can build this on sand. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Palmed area. You can almost hear the screams of fallen soldiers passing this area slows you down. That's intense. That is intense. Okay, so let's do... See, now I'm kind of worried because if I build these World War One trenches and the World War Two trenches are better... You know, what, is that, what does that mean for it? Whoa! Ten? Ten wood, four steel. I've got about ten wood, which is, i got fifteen wood, and I have four, I can build one, count it, one trench wall. Just one. That's, that's crazy. That is, oh boy, okay. So we need to harvest lots of wood if we're gonna wanna do this. Um, actually, is that, yeah, that's ready to be. Okay, so let's just harvest all the wood around the map because we're gonna need a lot of it and our poplar trees are nowhere near close to being ready. So let's get all of this wood, all of it, we'll do select similar, and just, just get it all, just, just get it all. Oh. Uh, Sharon from the Assassins was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She would like to join your colony. She is a shelter child and her traits are hard worker and pretty. Well, I'm not going to uh, reject a woman who is uh, pretty and is a hard worker. That's, uh, that's, that's all good. Tam thinks you should give your faction a name. Obviously, we are the Cram community. And our town will be Cramston, as submitted by Crazy Razor. Thank you for that. So Sharon, let's see her skills. Oh, she's 18. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. 
Uh, six in medicine, one in construction, three for animals, and those are the only things she has passion for. So she's gonna need a little bit of work. Um, let's set her, she's set the call right now. We'll take off researching, managing, studying, and teaching. We're gonna take her off of cleaning. Uh, I need to build, oh, that means I need to build a little shelter for her. Uh, what do we got here? Sandstone blocks. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, let's do... Actually, don't know what to do here. Okay, uh, we have to build our little house out of sandstone. We gotta do it. Alright, so one, two, let's do... down, go down, go across, and it should be, it should be, I mean, good enough for her, it's, it's a pretty decent sized room, um, if we could research maybe carpets before, no, 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 we need trenches, we need trenches, I'm tired of building these colonies, and then not having defenses, and Randy punishing me for not having those defenses. So Sharon, how about you craft, okay? Go ahead and craft, and I'm gonna have you craft these sandstone blocks. So why don't you get to that? You go ahead and you, oh, what do we got here? Psychiatric, ah, psychiatric patient named Tallulah Cheston calls from nearby. She's being chased by outlanders from the Withatway Federation. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, 81! Damn, son! 81 years old? And she's running? Oh, man. She must be, like, an Olympic athlete. Incapable of violent, caring, and social. She's a fast learner and a fast walker. Oh, that's why she is being chased. Okay. You know, I figured, you know, the chase wouldn't take too long. Like, it would be a quick... Oh, here we are, and then they just, you know, grab her because she's trying to run away, but she can't run away. Passionate for construction, mining, artistic, and crafting. See, the fast learner and a fast walker, that's all good. I definitely could use that, but not being capable of violent. We need defenders right now. The more people that we have, the more raiders are going to come to get us. So, not having those extra guns, I mean, yeah, we have the turret guns, but... You know that if, if those even hold up so sorry uh tallula tallula cheston of 81 years old um we can't do it we can't do it she screams in panic as we cut off the transmission okay so uh sharon is getting these blocks going and I'm gonna finish off the rest of this building here. We got enough wood to make a bed. So we should be putting a roof on this. Yeah. Roof. Cool. Alright, that's done. So now that that is finished, we want to build. Where is it? Bed. We can build it out of sandstone blocks. We don't want to use all of our wood because of the. Um, we don't want to use that because that's what we're going to be using with our uh, trenches. We'll put that there. And now she's got her own little home. Everything's good. Life is good. Damn, gonna have oh, we're getting raided. That didn't take long. Okay, so we've got... Three people here, one with an M1911. We've got two people with knives. Uh, they're attacking immediately. Let's move this turret. I'm gonna move right there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Where's Tam? Yeah, you hurry up and eat, because we got a raid coming and they do not look happy. Oh geez, okay. Uh, move the turret here as far out as you can. Okay? No, no. Don't worry about that bed right now. You need to work on this turret. There we go. Turret's gonna work. 
gun sound sounds like dookie. Hurry, Tam, hurry! There you go! shooting at him. There we go. Campfire. Oh, he's got a timer. Flick! Age 57. Let's see what kind of character he is. He's a pessimist. He's a fast walker, and he's psychically sensitive. However, he's got an 8 in shooting, an 8 in melee, and a 5 in mining. Uh, this this might be one of our guys. We, we, may, we may capture this guy. Let's, let's capture him. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to capture him. Um, Sharon's still going ham on those uh, on the, uh, those sandstone blocks. Let's reinstall this bad boy. Let's do it, right? Get as far out as we can. Boom. Right there. I was about to say, you better not be using that glitter wool medicine. And he's fully healed. We got him. We have our first prisoner. So now we just need to feed him with uh, our simple meals. And our harvest should be coming in soon, so that's good. Uh, Tam, can you finish this? Nope, we don't have enough blocks. Sharon, I don't want you to break, but if you want a bed, get your ass up and make you some sandstone blocks. Good. We're gonna draft her. Tam, work on that bed. And there you go. Sharon, undraft. And welcome to your new home. Sharon, this is your toilet. Tam, these are yours, obviously. And uh, we're good. We're good. Flick is no longer capable of, in walk of uh, walking. We have no guest pets, so you need to go away. Bye bye. We're going to set his, um, we're going to just chat and recruit. We're not going to try to, uh, we're not going to try, you know, making him work. We don't have any kind of, usually I like building in like a fenced in area. I like making an actual prison and uh, putting them, you know, putting them like that. So, um, it's like we're going to harvest the rest of this rice maybe. Oh, no, we're going to chat with Flick. Oh, 0.5% chance, huh? Holy crap. All right. Um, I actually don't know if the higher the number, the better, or the lower the number, the better. I actually don't know. So it says 92% recruitment difficulty. Is that like 8% chance to succeed, 92% chance to fail, or is it like... You know, you know what I mean? Is it the other way around? Like, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, we have our next harvest, so it looks like we've got 37. 37 simple meals coming up as soon as we sew up the rest of this rice. Uh, our cotton plants are getting there. They're almost done. And once those are done, we can start making clothes. Uh, we have an escape pod. Uh, Arison. She is a female space refugee. Let's see what her, she's menopausal. Steadfast, slowpoke, incapable of dumb labor and artistic. Well, you have a 16 in intellectual, which is good, uh, but you have a six in crafting with that good, that good, good major passion. However, uh, none of your other stats are very good, so. So sorry. Looks like, uh, looks like you will not be joining the cram community today. Okay. Now we are calling the rest of our medicine here. Uh, Tam, I'm gonna have you build. We don't have enough steel. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Stop making sandstone blocks. And now I want you to. Can you mine? You can mine. Kind of mine. It's just gonna be really slow. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Why not? Let's 
take that off. Where'd his head go? Oh! Something bit off his head. I think it was probably the iguana. Bluebell cuts. Okay. Just a shard's knife. Damn, can eat? I don't know if he's gonna feed Flick. Get rid of those. I'm gonna set these to home urgently. We've got 370 rice, it's 37 simple meals, so we're actually making a profit now in, in regards to food. We're actually making more food than we are consuming, and that is good. That is excellent. Um, I'm gonna set this bench. Uh, let's do... You know what, let's just do... We're gonna change this to do until you have X. Here we go. We'll do a hundred. We'll do pause when satisfied, and then we will unpause at ten food. How about that? Now we've got a goal. We make that much food. We're gonna set Tam to cook. And now, drum roll, please. All, all that stuff. Good job. And. 37 food, not coming right up, because we're hungry. It's time to eat first. Talk to Flick a little bit. Try to get him to join the colony. Nope, 1.6 chance. So we're gaining a rapport with him, however. Um, we're at 44, plus 44 uh, relationship with Flick. Um, that's good. That's, that's, that is good. So, what are you doing? Stop! Why are you relaxing socially? You don't have time for that. You know what you do have time for is cooking us up some damn simple meals. Hey, look at that. Look at that tray with that yellow block, that yellow circle, okay? Flick does not want to be our friend right now, okay? You just leave him alone. That's a nice butt. Look at that butt. Look at that butt! He's just huge. He's, he's a hulk. He's in a small area though, I'm pretty sure that he is going to try to mental break or have a mental break, that's a mad rat. Yep, that is a mad rat. Alright, Sharon, well, that's fun. Shoot, shoot him, Sharon. You got this, Sharon. Sharon! Sharon! Hey, the turret got him. Alright, Sharon, you're absolutely fucking useless. Okay, back to cooking. Back to mining. Continue like nothing happened. Mm, let's see here. Okay. Social gear. Hell. Mining. This is what I want. Mining. One. So she's barely learning. That's fine. That's fine. Wait, where'd you get that package survival meal? Wait! Hello? Ooh. Sneaky Sharon. Sneaky Sharon. Hmm. 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 Where did you get that? That's interesting. That's gonna. I'm now gonna be paranoid from that. Uh, I want to know where that simple meal was. Uh, this guy's about to break. He is about to break. Okay. Let's think here. What can I do to make sure that he's not outside? Ah, mm, I think I got it. I think I know what we can do. All right, what we're gonna do. Hmm. Think here, think. We're gonna give him a little bit of room. Because that would be the right thing to do, right? Let's do it. We're gonna give him a little bit of room. But Tim, you give him a little bit of room, he's gonna try to get out! Well, no. 
That's why we're going to build this first. And then after we get done building that... Damn, come on, cooking. Okay, I'm here to... Whoa! Damn, she just got in the colony like a day ago. You're already trying to make moves on her. What are you doing? Oh, man, you just got rebuffed. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Yikes, my dude. That is not good. All right, so now we've built that, right? We're going to build a stone cutter's table in here, okay? So the reason that we're gonna build this stone cutter's table, okay, is so that this guy can work, right? We're gonna set him to force to work or work and recruit, per se, and we're going to put this steel stone cutter's table, right? Okay, maybe not the steel one. That was the yoke. I'm totally yoking. Let's do wood. Uh, we don't have enough wood. Ah. I, was, I was joking. Okay. Flick, you might be screwed, bro. I, I don't go away. I don't have any guest beds. Uh, I'm at a loss here. Uh... I don't want Flick to break, because if he does, then he's gonna try probably breaking out. So, let's think here. What are his, what's going on here? Awful prison cell, in a little pain, imprisoned, ugly environment, and he's a pessimist, and he's wearing worn out apparel. In darkness. I mean, I don't. What do we do for this guy? I also need to connect power to Sharon's house. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's do that. We got quite a bit of work to do today. We need to get Flick on our side before this guy breaks and we don't want that because if he tries to escape I actually don't know if we're going to be able to fight him off <sighs> let me guess he got the 8 without table debuff yep okay so he's no longer in darkness that's good um hmm. major break risk Sharon what's going on girl had to rebuff me. Yikes. That's unfortunate. Uh, feeling terrible, in a little pain, ugly environment, awful bedroom. Had to rebuff Tam and wearing worn out apparel. Hmm. Yep, didn't recruit Flick yet again. What's this social at? Is he. How are we doing? Okay, we're at 100, so. Oh boy. Sharon, I need you to not break. Whatever you do, do not break. We need to get some carpet. I, mean, I, I don't want my people to break. Um, oh man, see this is where, I, do I prioritize defenses? Do I prioritize keeping my colonists happy? Like, that's, that's the problem that I'm currently running into right now. Um, yeah, we'll build, we need to build some lights too, why not? Why not, right? Build those lights. Let's get some furniture as well. So we are going to build an end table for Sharon. We're gonna build a dresser for Sharon. We're gonna build a little plant pot for Sharon. Okay. Okay, Sharon, you're getting five-star treatment right now, actually. Just kidding, Sharon. I'm not gonna build any of that out of wood. We're gonna build out of sandstone. Just like that. Build this plant pot out of sandstone. Gonna build this dresser out of sandstone. And there we go. Hey, Flick has joined the colony. 
He is a part of our colony now. Excellent. Welcome to the colony, Flick. As per my YouTube channel in the comments, uh, I did have a few folk who wanted to join up with the colony. Uh, last time we did McBiggins, this time we're going to do a Crazy Razor. Crazy Razor, welcome to the colony. Uh, welcome to the Cram community. Uh, enjoy being a full-fledged member of the Cram community. Uh, eventually, once we get some... Uh, once we start getting, you know, more prosthetic stuff, uh, we could probably try and work on getting that stab wound fixed. That would be nice. Alright, so, Crazy Razor. Just gonna stick with Razor. Um, what is... What are your stats here? So you got a 5 in mining. I could actually set you to mining right now, that's good. Construction's a 4. Crafting is a two, cooking is a four. So we're gonna set you to mine. So take you, oh no, put you on mine, take you off hunt and cook. Take you off clean, research, study, and teach. So why don't you hop to and go mine out that stuff. We need to, who's our highest crafter? I'm pretty sure it's me. Let's see here, it's 11. Zero and two. Okay, so we need to get a uh, tailoring bench down, but oh, we also need to build another house. This is four across, so let's do four. Let's do four. We're gonna bring this down and across. I'm gonna oh, oh. I'm gonna build a power line here. Bring it down. And then I would like to... We'll move this turret whenever we get that. Ah, uh, but we won't have the side covered. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. See, the thing is, I don't want them to use the building as cover for our improvised turrets. So, maybe we'll just build another turret? Perhaps? I just don't want to suck into all of her power, that's the thing. So let's get this, let's get this built. Build our, let's see here, one, two, just identical. That's what we're gonna do. We'll worry about the dresser and all that later. For now, I just wanna get this done. I wanna get this house built. Uh, we need some more blocks. So Sharon, we're gonna take you off of mining and put you back onto crafting. Why don't you get on that? Uh, things are doing good. Th things are doing good. Um, looks like we've got our wood floors to come in. That's good. That's done. Uh, what else? We got some wood out here that we never hauled. I'm gonna haul that in. Um, these trees. They're. 56% grown, so we're just waiting on those to get grown. Once they do, we should get quite a bit of wood from that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do after that. Oh, excuse my yawn. Wow. We're going to give Sharon some projects here. Um, I'm going to have everybody haul these sandstone chunks whenever they all go to sleep. Where is... Oh! Sleeping on the job, huh? That's fine, I guess. You know? Sleep. Sleep now. Enjoy it. On the floor. The cold, hard stone floor. Dirt floor. Is it sand or dirt? Stone floor. You're on the stone floor. Unbelievable. I didn't know we allowed slackers into this colony. All right, what do we got here? Send away, get out of here. Cobra skin. I'm gonna set those to uh, unforbid. Looks like uh, Ray is going to Razor is going to uh, start hauling, start hauling that stuff, and he's about to break. He is about to break. Slept outside. Slept in the cold. Slept on the ground. Oh, is it cold? No, it's not cold. Slept, uh, boy. And he bro Oh, we're 
getting raided. Okay. Tribes people from the Blue Tree uh, Amalgamation have arrived. They will prepare and then attack. So let's... See here, they're down over there. Let's reinstall this turret, right? Rudder. Let's reinstall this turret. Rudder. Tam, work on that. And Sharon, work on that. Good, good, good. Okay. Beefing up our defenses on that side. Tam's moved that. Hopefully these turrets will take them out. I'm hoping. This is the hoping. Let's reinstall this turret here. Move that. There you go. Maybe we can possibly snag another prisoner. That would be nice. We're gonna have a colony full of prisoners. Uh, it's about to break. Bursting, pessimist, observed rotting corpse in a little pain, ugly environment, feeling bad, slept outside, slept in cold, slept on ground, uncomfortable, wearing worn out apparel, grimy, very low expectations. Well, uh, Ray, you're probably, Crazy Razor, you're probably gonna break. You're probably going to break, and I can't do much about it because we're getting raided. Damn. Get ready to fight. There we go, one down. These guys are nowhere near close. We can't reinstall these turrets and move them up either, huh? Alright, it's gonna be a risky move, but we don't do it. We don't do it up. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, that's good. Let's reinstall the turret here. Run! Run! Risking his life in the line of duty to repair those turrets while under heavy fire. Okay, so what do we got here? Female archer, male archer. I would probably chase them, but I don't want to die. I don't want to get hit by some stray bullet, some lucky shot. Ooh, that could have been the lucky shot to end it all. Alright, so we've got a few dead bodies out here. We're going to build some graves. One, two, three. There's that rotting corpse that uh, Razor uh, observed. I mean, this guy has been through quite some shit. Go ahead and focus on building that bed. It's inevitable. The guy's gonna mental break. We can't we can't stop that. So we will just make sure that his house is ready for when he is ready. Right? It's the only thing we can do right now. Get this house all prepared up, get it all nice and wonderful. And then we're gonna yeah, go ahead and do that I guess. Nice try, kiddo. Back to work. Build that roof. Alright, welcome home, Razor. Welcome home. This is good. This is good. We're uh, making strides now. Look at that. He's got his own little bed. And his mood is going up. He's come up from a extreme break risk to a major break risk, which is a lot better than him having an extreme break risk. So, Ray, I'm gonna have you go outside. Observe that Aurora. Okay, now go back to bed. Oh, okay, that didn't do anything. Ray, worn out apparel, slept in cold, huh? It's really that cold in here? 51 degrees? Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty cold. That's usually about the temperature my wife likes keeping it out, so... You know, maybe I'm just... 
They were just callous to it, you know? It's Ambrosia. Yeah, it's Ambrosia. Alright. Now, let's do more floors. We're gonna build that vertical wood. Boop. Just like that. Better than having nothing. Okay. Let's see where our poplar trees are at. They're at 62%. Sow the rest of this area. Looks like we've got 500. We've got 58 simple. Me oh, we're running out of food. All right, Tam. Uh, no more constructing. I'm gonna put you back on cooking. See as we're done doing that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Set those to all urgently. So we get all of this inside into a frozen location. Ray's mental break has gone away, so uh, now he is good to go. He's no longer uh, about to break, as Lincoln Park put it. As Chester put it. Rest in peace. And uh, on that note, uh, I think we're going to end the episode here. So I would like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. If you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe on your way out the door. As always, my name is Tam Cram, and have fun, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later!